Okay, uh, this is a puzzle called the Soma Cube. Uh, it was invented in 1936, and um, it's a deconstruction puzzle, a construction puzzle. Uh, what we have here are seven distinct pieces, and they're all um, all of the different shapes you can make with four or fewer cubes, so that there's at least one um, internal angle like this. So this has an internal angle, as do all of these. Whereas something like four blocks in a row um, wouldn't have any internal angles. So other things there are are things like um, four making a square. Think Tetris block. That doesn't have any of these kind of nice irregular bits like this. Um, one of the surprising things about them is you can form them into a cube. And this is non-unique. Um, so obviously it's non-unique with rotations and reflections and things. But actually it's non-unique uh, even with properly distinct ones. Um, there are 240 distinct ones. Um, so here is one of the solutions. So putting that in the middle. And general tactic is to start with the weirder ones. Um, these two here are just mirror images of each other. And this one over here, again, is kind of 3D-ish one. I got rid of them straight away. I filled the gap with this one. Um, this one over here fits that quite nicely. And I can see that that one over there would make just the right gap for this one. General tactic for this one is because it's the only three piece one, is save it to last. It's the easiest one to just kind of slot in. So there is one of the 240 solutions. And that's 240, not counting me just kind of rotating that 90 degrees this way or reflecting the whole thing in the mirror. Now, there's lots of different puzzles that people do with these. Um, if you're familiar with tangrams, it's those same sort of things that you've got a picture to try and make. Uh, the puzzle I want to introduce is quite a neat one. So if I move you... Oh good, the computer screen shows up on the video. These are the penta, uh, pentominoes. There are 12 of them, um, and they're all the shapes that you can make with five blocks. Okay. Um, now, all of them, apart from that one in the top middle, which is five in a row, we're going to try and make... I'm not going to do all of them here, we'll do one of them. We're going to try and make um, using these, and the idea is um, these here, they've got a total of 27 blocks. What we're going to do is we're going to form a 4 by 4 by 2, which that would use, so 16 on the bottom and number 16, it would use 32. That's, we've only got 27, so we've got 5 fewer than that. What we're going to do is we're going to make it so the top has a gap which has the shape of one of the pentominoes. Um, obviously we wouldn't be able to do the five in a row one because our shape is only going to be four long. So it's the only one which wouldn't actually fit. All of them are possible. Um, I did one of them a minute ago. And the game is to try and do all of them. So let's do one of them, let's just play around a bit. So again, I'm going to use the weirdly shaped ones. Maybe something like that. That one looks quite good for filling up that space there. Um, that's grid space. But, uh, and this is not looking good. Because if I place that, it's going to cut one off. Uh, so let's change something about it. Let's try like that. That's looking good. And I can make one of them like that. So the shape we've made is the one, if I just rotate it around, is the pentomino which has five like that. Which, if we look over here, there's this one in the bottom right. Uh, I can actually make some more without changing very much, because this white one, if I just move that somewhere else, something like there. Uh, this time I've made the one which is four along and one that way which was a different one of them. Uh, can I make any others like that? No, I don't think I can. Um, so this is the game. There's 11 to make because one of them is impossible. Obviously we couldn't get five in a row. Um, but if you've got some little cubes or something, it's quite a nice little puzzle.